folks. Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we have with us... I'm Landon. I'm Landon. You know what, Landon? You know what surprises me a little bit is that you're not sitting here going in left-hand circles. Yeah. You know what? So, no, I only do that in cars. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does your yeah. wife give you directions? <laughs> and, uh, she I mean. actually, she she leaves me be when I'm driving, as long as I'm not texting. That's, that's Okay. Yeah, important. yeah. We're no good. texting and driving. Uh, you're talking about while you're driving a NASCAR. Oh, yeah. Definitely not texting. Either. Definitely yeah. don't do that in my race car. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So, you know, Landon, and, and, and I, it's one of those things. I used to drag race, you uh-huh. know, because I, I don't think I could have turned left for four hours, you know. Uh-huh. But but I used to drag race in the old days, and, and I've always thought it would be awesome. We used to go to the dry, to the roundy rounds, yeah, yeah. which is what we called them back in the day. And uh, I'll never forget one time I was about seven years old, and they were going to give rides in the cars. Okay. So me and my little brother go down there, Ricky Ware. Oh, Me and my brother go down to oh, Ricky Ware. This goes way, way back, long before your time. Uh, San Antonio area guy. And uh, we go down to get on this car. And when we get down there, I chickened out, right? Well, what they were doing is, is they were picking us up at one point, taking us two-thirds of the way around the track, dropping off. Well, since we didn't get picked up, we didn't get dropped off, right? <laughs> so the only chance I ever had to go in a round round car, and I blew it because I was scared. <laughs> you didn't even go around the whole track. No, I didn't go around That's the whole great. track. That was in yeah. San Antonio? Yeah, that was in San Very Antonio. Cool. Yeah, That's yeah, absolutely. Great. So you're out here, okay, and you're a NASCAR driver. You're a big influencer. Yep. What are you doing in this crypto space? Well, I mean, I, I've actually been in crypto for several years now. I was first introduced to Bitcoin in 2013. And um, I actually was introduced to it from another race car driver who got sponsorship from the Dogecoin community. I don't know if you remember seeing oh, that yes, at all. Oh, yes, yes. But the Dogecoin community on Reddit kind of got together and funded some sponsorship for Josh Wise, a good friend of mine. And, um, and so I was hanging out with him a lot at the time and learned about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Didn't jump into it right at that time. Yeah. But um, I was really interested in mining. I, for some reason, I, you know, trading it, as the, seeing the charts, day trading, things like that um, on the investment side wasn't, that's a little over my head. I didn't yeah. feel like that was something I wanted to learn. But um, when I got into cryptocurrency, I got into mining and I, I have a small uh, Bitcoin mining farm now and I've um, been mining for several years now. And, um, and I'm, very well into cryptocurrency at this point you make money 24 7 that's That's, uh, it feels like that yeah yeah, sometimes yeah yeah, exactly exactly and we're all happy to see it bumping them up a little bit before this conference yeah that's right yeah Yeah. so so actually in 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 this coming sunday we're going to be there with you that's right yeah you guys are we're racing in texas this this week uh texas motor speedway the triple a 500 um, and you guys are coming. You've yes, we are. Passes. You're going to get you in the infield. You can come yes. to my pit box, hang out, do whatever you want. I can't wait to do that. So, might, yeah. so I may not be able to ride around the track, but I'm going to be down there with you it's guys. It's going to be the Wild West NASCAR show. Oh, that's day. it. I love it. Go. Love it. Wild West NASCAR show. And, and much as I hate to say it, Brent and I were talking about this, and he goes, because he's building our new corporate headquarters. Yeah. And he goes, listen, for him even coming out here, taking time away to do this, I mean, it's it's taxing. He already works 18 hours a day, you know, so it's taxing that. So I said, Brent, you want to go to this NASCAR race? And he goes, I'd love to, but how about the building? I said, hey, Brent, I'm going to this NASCAR race. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're going to have a blast. It's going to be fun. I mean, it, it really, it's going to be worth it. I'm so glad to be out here at the Litecoin Summit. Yeah. Uh, you know, Charlie asked me to come and speak. We're, we're having kind of an athletes panel. I don't really know what we're going to talk about yet. I bet I'm sure it's going to be... Um, you know, how'd you get into crypto? Kind of telling our stories. Yeah. Uh, it'll be the first time for us athletes who have talked to each other on social media, our first time all together in one room and meet each other in person, which will be exciting. And, and you know, really, I, I, I hope that we can deliver a message of, of how, um, how, from a sports and entertainment perspective, we see uh, cryptocurrency adoption. And in use cases. Well, well you know, and in, in, in the, as you know, how did NASCAR get started? Yeah, well, bootleggers. Were, that's right. Yeah, they that's were right. they were running booze. Yeah, they're running yeah. bootleg whiskey. And the reality is, most people that are into this, they're like our redneck buddies there in Texas because they tend to be a little bit more off grid. Don't yep. trust the government yep. quite as yep. much. Yep. And so, all you folks that are out there listening, if you like NASCAR, yeah. you got to watch Landon and We've do this. We had this conversation. I mean, yes, it's, it's, there's there's a I, I think there's a absolute parallel and correlation between the people that that want that sovereignty in their own money. You bet. Right. And, and you know, there's a reason that, that the gold bugs are also the people that kind of can look at crypto and they might like it, they might not like it, but there's, there's undeniable that there's a lot of similarities on, on the motivation of why you would make that. Well, you know, the, the major metal in South Texas is lead. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, not, right. they're, they're not right. worried about gold. They're not worried about silver. They want to make sure they got yeah, enough lead. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. They do, and I don't think that the government's coming to take any of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're not going to exactly. get it. You, you know, yeah. I, lo- I love <laughs> yeah. to tell the story. So when Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and then they were going in, they were asked afterwards, after we, you know, went and defeated and all that, and they asked them, they said, why didn't y'all, because, I mean, we had our, our, like we do today, we had our military spread all over the world. Uh-huh. So we weren't really protecting the homeland, right? And they asked him, they said, why didn't y'all go on and march all the way to Washington? Well, the guy, the commanding general over the Japanese forces happened to have gone to school at Harvard. Okay. Oh, wow. And he said, because y'all have the biggest army in the world. They're trying to take their army away from us. Yeah. But the biggest army in the world is all guys like us. Because I know you yeah. have a gun or two. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they so, would have made it too far, especially back then. That's right. That's yeah. exactly yeah. right. Yeah, we had more freedom with it. That's and all right. Well, well, Landy, you know, it's great to meet you in person. Absolutely. I know we're going to be working together long term. Yep. Congratulations hey, for getting into crypto. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, can't wait to watch you make. How many, how many left turns is that? A bunch. <laughs> yeah, well, it's 500 miles. I'll be in the car for about four hours. Yeah, yeah, there you, know, you I, go. I, I lived in North Carolina for a short period of time, and the guys there are just crazy about it. And, I mean, they're so crazy about it. They're talking about how the car is being set up. Well, I don't know, you know, because to me, I think, you know, and, and they'd ask me, what do you think about it? I said, look, first off, y'all's barbecue sucks because it's pork and it's got all that vigor crap on it. <laughs> I said, secondly is, if I'm going to do NASCAR, I might as well just go out on the highway, get a lawn chair, and just go zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> I said, because, you know, that's about what it is to me. So, yeah. But I'll tell you what, they love it. They oh, it, love it's it. fun. I've been to one NASCAR race. So this will be my second one. Yep. And I'll be doing this one right. You know, yep. can't yeah, wait. Yeah, it really is. You'll have full access. Uh, hopefully, we get to see a lot of NASCAR content on Blockstream Media. Blockstream oh, we Media. will. Yeah. Oh, we will. Yep. Absolutely. Landon, thank you so Appreciate much. It. You bet. We'll Thanks. see you again. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.